Hey everybody, this is James Downs with Downs Family Bullies, and today we are making dog treats. Um, pretty simple recipe. There's only just a few ingredients, I think four ingredients in the entire recipe, and that's it. As opposed to a lot of the dog recipes that are out there on the internet that are a little more complex, this is something simple. It's a base recipe that you can build off on, and we'll go into all that later. But this is what we feed our dogs. It, we know what's in it, and there's no question about, you know, allergies or anything like that. So we want to try to share this with other people. We've had people that asked how we make dog treats. This is the base recipe. So here we go. First, we're going to take one and a half cups of unbleached white flour. That is the same flour. You can find unbleached white flour next to the regular flour, cornmeal. It's in that same area. It's the same flour you use to make grandma's favorite homemade biscuit recipe. Then we take a third of a tablespoon of onion powder. Three tablespoons of oil. And a third of a cup of water. And that's it. Not a lot of dishes, not a lot of cleanup, and it's a whole lot easier than what a lot of people think. It's really nothing to it. Now what you wanna do is stir this until you get a really dense ball. You want it pliable, almost to the consistency of maybe Play-Doh is what you're looking for. And you're just gonna mix all this up. But, this recipe you can change depending on what you like, what your dog likes. You can substitute quite a few things. The three tablespoons of oil that this is built off of, you can actually boil chicken stock, take the water, put it in the refrigerator, and when the fat from the chicken stock separates, you can actually use three tablespoons of just the chicken fat instead of the oil. It does the same thing. Now you've got chicken flavored dog treats. Um, same thing with the water. You can use chicken stock or beef stock. You can also use beef stock. They make an entirely different flavor on these things. Um, we made, I guess it was about, I don't know, the third or fourth batch when we first started trying this recipe. Parsley paper so it doesn't stick. But we're going to roll this out. And we used, I think it was dill and something else, but uh, terrible. Dogs hate them. But as you mix these things, try new ingredients and just kind of play around with it. it it's actually kind of fun and the dogs love them. They're kind of like little kids when uh, you're making a cake. They want to stand around and lick the beater. <laughs> But see, what you want is something that's mushy, but it's still pliable, almost like Play-Doh. Let me get all that. And you want it as stiff as you can get it. There we go. Make sure everything's mixed up good. And we have one ramp up. Now we'll just sprinkle some on here, keep it from sticking. Rolling pin. Now we uh, currently right now have eight bulldogs. So when we make these, we make quite a few of them. But if you've only got a dog at the house and you just want to make treats, keep it simple and you don't have a rolling pin, you can also use, I've used cups, glasses, just different, whatever's around. And you're just gonna roll this out then you want this rolled out to where it's about a quarter of an inch thick. These are really thin. You want them crispy and you want to thin them enough to where when you cook them, all the moisture comes out. You're going to cook these at about 350 degrees for 20 minutes. That's it. But once the 
20 minutes are over, you don't take them out of the oven. You actually leave them in the oven after the 20 minutes is over and let them sit in the oven for another two hours. And what this does is just completely dries them out and you're gonna get that crispy, crunchy little dog treat. All right, welcome back to day two of making dog treats. This is what we use here. It's a simple coat. You can get them on the, um, on the bakery aisle. It has a little spring mechanism on the side of it. You mash the button and pop it out. These are interchangeable. Um, last time I checked, they had about 10 different kinds of these. They have snowmen, they have um, hearts, but they also have little dog bones. And it cuts either two at a time or it'll have an indention repetitive around the wheel and you just roll it and cut it out. But you can actually have, I've seen some of them that were uh, shaped like dogs, so you can actually have dog shaped dog treats. But anyway, this is what we use because it has one inch squares. So we cut it going one way and then we turn it and cut the other way. So we end up with one inch squares. Ends up a lot like uh, the size of a Cheez-It. <laughs> but you just put this in the flour, shake it off. This helps keep the sticking so much. So what we do is come across and you just make sure this blade is lined up with the last slot that you cut. And just roll right through it. Nothing to it. Now, if you don't have one of these, it's really easy to use a butter knife. It cuts through it just fine. It's just, this is faster. Roll it in the flour. But when we're making these, um, after you make a few batches of it, you, it's really quick. The whole process, start to finish, of actually making the treats, cutting them out, getting them in the oven, takes about five minutes. It, it's really not a lot to it. too much moisture in them before you cook them. Sometimes they'll stick, but as you can see, these are pretty good. You just kind of toss them in, they'll dry out, but they poof up a little bit. They don't stay flat like this. But um, let me show you some of them we've already done in our handy dandy dog trick bowl. see some of them poof up this is what they look like to begin with they're really really flat and they poof up a little bit but that's it that's the entire there you go cookie cookie approved but um some of the things that you can actually swap out they're really quick and easy um you can substitute the water for chicken broth you can substitute the oil for just about any oil or fat that you come across. Do not use pork. Uh, some dogs have an issue with digesting pork. I do not recommend using that. But um, you can take whole chickens. If you're making chicken and dumplings, take boil the chicken, take the broth off, put it in the refrigerator, let it separate. Same thing with turkey. Um, leftover turkey meat from Thanksgiving. You can actually, uh, use that but there's a lot of different variations on ways to make this if you run out of oil period you don't have anything to do it you go oh man i don't feel like going to the store you can use mayonnaise it works just fine but um just try experiment with it the dogs will let you know whether they're good or not 
And anyway, this is uh, James Downs. You can check us out at Downs Family Bullies on our Facebook page or our website at downsfamilybullies.com. And uh, thank you.